now I am ready to export this. So what you're going to do, and if you're wondering what all these little buttons up here do, don't worry about that right now. We'll talk about the little features. This is just the basics, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to export it, and you're going to want to name it. I like to name my stuff. So I'm going to call this test. And you see the test comes up right there. I'm going to hit done. You can pick a cover frame down here. So if you want to change it, you can do that. Hit done. And then it's here. Now, for the best resolution, it kind of takes too long in my opinion, um, especially if I'm in a hurry. So you can change the resolution. And if I am doing things vertically, just to make it quick, quicker, I choose the 720. This is the important feature, auto slice. Auto slice is really, really important and sort of my very favorite features about Vlog Easy because it can cut it up for your Insta story and gives you those 15 second increments. So for example, you will see here that you can turn it off. You can do 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds and 60 second increments. So I go ahead and choose 15. But before I do that, if this is something that I am going to post on IGTV or Facebook and it's going to stay, I first export it with auto slice off and hit next. Now it's exporting. A couple of best practices while this is exporting. Number one, you want to make sure that you're not multitasking while this is going on. And I have learned that it works best when it's plugged in if it's not charged. And also try not to run a bunch of apps because that's going to slow it down too. And by the way, you've got to have space on your phone or your iPad to do these. I always, always, always save it to my library first. Again, if I'm batching my content, I don't want to share it on social right now. So I always save it here. The other thing is that you want to own your own content, which is a completely different video. Save to library, hit OK. Now, if you want to text it to someone, you know, you can do all of this. But when I'm batching videos, I just want to get through them and um, I'm not worried about sharing them right now. You want to hit done. Now the next step, if you want it to slice it up in 15 second increments so that you can share on your story, you're going to go back up here to export. I'm going to change the resolution to 720. I'm going to go to auto slice, 15 seconds, and then I'm going to hit next. Now it's exporting, then it's going to slice it up and then we will go to my photos and I will show you guys how I batch content and how I keep up with it. You've got to pay attention to the length of the videos. You notice this is cutting now, so I'm going to hit save. Okay, it's to my library and done. Best practices is that I've done a video for 12 minutes. And it took a long time to export. Be cautious of getting too much in here. Now, I'm going to clear my timeline because I'm done. I'm done with this video. So I'm just going to go to the end. And I'm going to hit clear timeline. Let's talk about all the fun features before I clear my timeline. Before I hit clear my timeline, and you'll notice down here at the bottom, it has how long it is. So this was like 15 seconds. You can go up here and you can write on it. Love. Hit done. You can type text on it. Hi. And there are different fonts that you can choose here. Then you've got folder. In your folder, which let me show you this again, the folder up here, this goes to your current videos and photos. So if you want to add in a past photo, so you'll notice down here at the bottom, it's on my camera roll. 
And so you can go to all. And so if I wanna go back and add a video, I just hit the plus. I'm gonna add to timeline. And then you see it made it longer. It added to my timeline here. Now it's gonna take a moment to import. So let it do its thing. The other cool feature is called yarning. This is yarn down here. Vlog Easy has partnered with a company where you can add movie clips to be funny, show your personality, try to get a point across. You can see where this, you can see where this out of the video right here. The other thing to notice is that the text and where I wrote is only in the sections that you see the white line. See where it says the number two? So just know that if you want something to be in the very beginning, like a welcome, or what the video is going to be about, make sure that it is on the section that you want it on before you type or write something. You can shake it, and it's gonna ask you if you wanna clear your timeline. Everything in your timeline will be deleted, so I wanna delete it. Confirm, delete.